How's it going? Hello everyone, welcome to the March 2024 Town Manager Updates. We're going to be doing a walk around downtown and we're going to check out all the projects that are going to be happening over the next few years. Behind me is the edge and what's coming for the next phase. Uh, just over here, they're putting the foundations in for 24 units total of residential. And here will be a, a beautiful brick building and across Main Street, they have uh, planned a pedestrian bridge. Businesses and shops, lining, Main Street. What's the comma of these two buildings right over here? For any village center, it's important to have safe, accessible sidewalks. Uh, a few years ago, we redid these sidewalks, which have held up um, pretty nicely. You'll see on the other side, uh, Great Falls Construction actually did those sidewalks. Any, any sidewalk in the village center will be either replaced or repaired. One of the big projects that takes a lot of sequencing are coordinating underground infrastructure along with the sidewalks. So we want to get these utility poles underground um, and that will be happening over the next year and a half or so. From down in the corner, all the way down Sullivan Street into the intersection, we plan on getting these poles removed and the utilities underground. Poles and wires will be gone, and in its place you'll see ornamental streetlights. So some of the things we're looking at are improving the crossings here. The crosswalk here doesn't feel great, so there's things that we can do to improve the safety and accessibility, including narrowing the crossing itself. They're called bump outs as the downtown develops. We have options for traffic calming. This is an area that over the next couple of years will transform. Scheduled for 2025 is a realignment of Sawmill Hill and School Street. So what this project does, it adds sidewalks on both sides, new sidewalks and two new bike lanes, bike lane on either side. If you live here, you know who has the right of way, but for anyone that's not in Berwick, you don't really know what's going on in this intersection. As of now, there is barely any shoulder to there being no shoulder. So there will be a separation between the green space, the sidewalk, and then there'll be a bike lane and then the normal travel lanes. This is a, a blind turn coming from this intersection. Part of this green space will be cut off probably from about here to here. It just improves the circulation. Along with it, there will be a, a bike lane and then a brand new sidewalk, really improving the walkability and functionality of the downtown. So this area here, it serves as a gateway. I think the more functional public space is more in the middle of the site. We might as well go check it out now. It feels funny coming back here as this becomes more of a public space. Uh, before I felt like I was trespassing a little bit. Roma Joe's just moved in and also the chiropractor is in this building. Oh, back here is the daycare. Good part about these streets is they don't really serve essential uh, traffic needs so they can be closed down for, for events. Great Falls Construction, they're, they're open to you know, whether it's an outdoor farmer's market or something. We have a drainage project that comes down from Wilson Street, comes all the way through the edge, comes down here and outlets down to the river. We've had flooding on Wilson Street by upsizing it, and I'll be able to withstand 100 year rain events. Because otherwise, what you deal with is property damage or um, erosion. To go along with the Sawmill Hill and School Street realignment is the beginning of a sidewalk along Sawmill Hill here. Because as of now, there's no pedestrian infrastructure on this side of the road. We'll be able to have a sidewalk on this side and a sidewalk on this side. The idea would be to connect our sidewalk up to Mullen Street and Great Falls Park which is being constructed right now. Well, the House of Hope continues to chip away at fundraising and they're building out their rec center. It'll be home to a walking circuit and a couple of basketball courts and indoor soccer. It's a great scenic vista from right here. 
uh, the beginning of Great Falls Park, which is a passive uh, recreational park. Um, small walking trails, paths. Over my right, you can see Moen Street. We've um, taken up the pavement and we are going to rebuild that base. It's full depth reconstruction to get a really nice quality road for the long term. Park idea was envisioned actually many years ago. I believe it was a college project that showed a park along um, the Salmon Falls River and Envision Berwick found that plan and we used it as an inspiration to develop the plan a little further. It's not very pretty now because it's, um, it's March and it's mud season, but come this summer, you'll start seeing a lot more green and a lot of landscaping will be planted and it'll really come together. All the stormwater comes down from from here, which will include that on-street parking and sidewalk, and it comes all the way up there, and it comes down to a filter pond, and all of, you probably can speak more intelligently about it than I can. All the water that comes in is going to come into a pre-treatment structure that's going to separate the solids, any um, any soils that come through it that can then be treated. All that water is going to go down into what's called an R tank system, which is which is a mechanism to, to store water, to discharge water at the same rate, and then it ultimately flows out to the to the overflow, and then it'll make its way down to where to where it always has. Yeah, there's going to be trees planted along the road here. Th there's hundreds of plants that are that are all going in. It's going to look really nice. End of August, this will be transformed. So. Here we are at the other end of Mullen Street by uh, Copeland here. So the project goes up the street here, down to Copeland, picks up catch basins and all the pipes. So the water comes all the way down and outlets down to the filter pond. So over here will be a swale. So it's a five foot swale in length. So it effectively act, doubles as a sidewalk. It'll be on both sides. That is the end of the town manager update for March 2024. Thanks for joining us on the site walk. My door is open. Give me a call or send me an email. Send me an email. McCarthy.